Hello, everyone. <gasps> Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Hello everyone! The long-awaited remake of the Advance Wars games on the Game Boy Advance are finally here! I can't even contain my excitement! It's almost like I've been waiting two years for it! It's almost like I've been waiting two years for it! It's almost- I've been waiting two years for this game. E3 2021. Nintendo has their presentation as usual, and they reveal Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. And it looks good! So much was revealed here! A beautiful 2D art style? My depression was cured. It even had a release date set for December later that year in 2021! God, that's awesome! I hope nothing bad happens. Okay, so I guess December was a bit too much for the team to handle as it was pushed back to April 8th of 2022. But in the meantime, we got a new Nintendo Direct showing off tons of gameplay features. Full character voice acting, speeding up gameplay, new modes entirely, creating custom maps and sharing them online, as well as fighting random people or other friends online. This game looks awesome! I hope nothing bad happens. Um, the game isn't coming out. Like, like ever. It was delayed indefinitely due to an actual war happening in, get this, the real world. Crap. Um, I didn't start this, right? No, silly. It was Jonathan. Oh, come on, Jonathan! You can't just go around declaring war on... Walgreens? They got my order wrong. I asked for two pickles. So because of Jonathan, Advance Wars was delayed because he started a war. And just like that, I was diagnosed with depression. Again! Until February 2023. It happened. The game got a release date. I also got stabbed in the chest. Finally! No more delays, no more nonsense, April 21st, the game releases. However, they didn't show off anything new. They basically paraphrased everything they stated in the last trailer while only showing the opening cutscene. Still, I was hyped! Even more than Tears of the Kingdom. So what did I do? I didn't buy the game day one. Look, I tried. I really did but I had a mandatory medical appointment because I ate an action figure of Luigi still in the box. Now, I'm not saying I regret my decision, because I don't. So, day one and a half, I was ready. Because technically, it was still launch day, day one, as the game was on the shelf for one day, and launch day, that's day zero, so I packed my bags and headed straight to Target, the best place to buy video games, and used cigarettes. Yo, what's up? It's Lagager George here to give you another vlog. I don't know how to how this filming thing works. Uh, I'm in uh, Target right now, as you can see by the red. Oh Jesus! I scared me. All right, so we're looking for Advance Wars One Plus Two Reboot Camp. It's around. So <gasps> I found it. Wow! Look at that. It's right there. You know, for some reason, I thought there was going to be a major roadblock or issue preventing me from getting the game, but no, here it is. Although there was one problem at the checkout counter. Oh, shoot, I don't have my wallet. Do you accept Apple Pay? Sir, this is a library card. Uh, I mean, yeah. Do you take it? No! Bam! You know what that smells like? It smells like victory. So about the series, Advance Wars is all about tactically moving your soldiers to defeat the opposing team. If you attack first, you deal more damage. If they attack first, well, be sure to sound the piss alarms, as you'll be doing that a lot. Different terrain like mountains and plains give less or more defense that can affect how many of your soldiers get blasted. Plus, you have different weapons, tanks, airplanes, submarines, cargo carts, all with different speeds and playstyles. That sounds like a lot, but what if I told you, there's more? No way! More as in a whole nother game. Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising. Eh, I prefer green. No, no, don't you dare. Uh, 
I hate purple! The game has new characters, and new missions, and the letter 2. I mean, it is a very faithful sequel to the original, basically serving as more Advance Wars for those Advance Wars fanatics out there. But that also means it doesn't do a lot of new things. There's like, what, one new tank? One new strand of hair? Well, either way, it makes the two fit even better together as a remade collection. So, let's play the game! And we're already off to a great start. No day one update. I mean, Jesus didn't need one. Now, I like the original Advance Wars, but... Wait! I like the game a lot. Love the game! Uh, best game of all time? One interesting thing to note is that when you start the game, you go to the menu with the gameplay modes. But when you go to the campaign, that's when you select which game to play. I guess the games are so similar that they share a menu system. Because as Miyamoto once said, convenience is convenient. And, uh, um, and I like when things are convenient. Now, first impressions are key, and the game looks very pretty with- Jesus, it's a woman! I read an article before playing that said the game had lackluster visuals. How? Sure, the soldiers may look like McDonald's toys, but the 2D animation is gorgeous. Plus, the characters have full voice acting. Gotcha. They kind of do, but they also don't. They do a half and half type thing, where they say the beginning of the sentence, and then nothing. Congratulations. I mean, it's better than nothing. Back to the menu. You can't select the second game because it contains spoilers, which is a nice addition, good to warn people of story spoilers, but you can also choose to ignore that and start with the second game anyways. That's funny. The tutorials are way faster compared to the GBA game, but both do feel the need to handhold you on every move. All right, George, move this piece here exactly. Whoops, don't do that, silly. Move the piece right here. Whoops! I swear to Christ, you little idiot, move the cursor here, okay? There's also way less tutorials. Like, way less. In the original game, there was like 20 of them. Here, they explain multiple new concepts throughout multiple tutorials and end up with three. Three! Compared to this! Well, now the tutorials are optional and are shown to you in the campaign, which I drastically prefer. All right. First story mission. I can't wait. <gasps> they added racial diversity! <laughs> Fast forwarding gameplay is a nice addition, but I don't really want to use it. I like seeing the animations play out. Like, how can I enjoy a nice filet mignon if it's being chucked at my face? Characters have power ups or special abilities that help you win, which I think. Think that was in the original game? I wouldn't know, of course. The tutorials took so long, I couldn't even start the campaign yet. God, oh, I do. Me too, buddy. You have a more accurate health system for encounters, and when you beat a mission, you earn coins to earn coins. Oh! What? Well, they're also used for the shop and whatever. Here you can buy maps for the map creator, battle maps for local play, and music from the game, which slaps pretty hard. And that's all I have to say. The game left an extremely solid first impression. I'd just like to get my opinion out there before I drown in a sea of Metacritic reviews. God, this game sucks. It has graphics and white people. Wait. That review was from Jonathan! Now, what is my official opinion on the game? I think that I should quickly change the subject. Oh, and hey, my gunshot wound hasn't opened up yet. Uh, normally when I say something controversial, someone shoots me where I was previously shot. That happens a lot. So, anyways, the game is pretty good. I got shot again.